Cubs fam, we are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And my people, today we are going to rank the top 10 squads in all of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We did this video very recently, but we have had two major squads added to the game. And there's been a lot more theory crafting going on with Watt Tambor. In particular, keeping things nice and interesting. And so we're going to have to talk about what the new top 10 looks like for the best squads in the game. Now, something to keep in mind as we talk about the top 10 best squads in the game is there's gonna be some variants for a lot of these teams. So I'm gonna talk a little generally about uh, factions or specific teams, but keep in mind that a lot of them, there's just gonna be a little bit of a give and take on uh, what characters you use. Sometimes you'll swap one character in for another character. And uh, so there's a lot there. I, I can't account for every single possible theory craft on a top 10 list, or it would all be Galactic Legend Rain, Galactic Legend Kylo with whatever variants we come up with uh, there. And that'd fill up the top like 20 or something like that because they basically work with everyone. Um, spoiler alert, they're gonna be high on the list. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. Starting with the first one on the list, we have got the one and only Geonosian Squad. Now, Geonosians, in my opinion, are some of the most entertaining characters to run in this entire game. I absolutely love what bugs are doing in this game. And check this out, you can even, did you guys know that bugs at relic levels can even beat a Darth Revan team if you mod them right. Uh, I had not seen this. This is actually, let's see here. This is from Nikolai. Uh, go, I, I got a link to all these, uh, all the footage down below. Check that out. But he's able to actually beat a Darth Revan team here. I don't know how realistic this is for everyone else. He, he's running it at 1x speed too. Wow, what a boss. Uh, but more than anything, bugs are just really solid in Grand Arena. If you're going to place them on defense, they're really good, uh, efficient ways to strip banners from opponents. I rarely am able to pull more than 52 to 54 banners against bugs. I know that there's methods where you can get higher banners, but me personally, I have not found effective ways to do that. And then they're just a really great utility offensive team that can go up against a lot. Apparently, Darth Revan is on the list. I've used them against Jedi Revan successfully many times. They absolutely deserve to be on this list. One of the best farms in this game. And on my Hyperdrive bundle account, I which I actually I gave away. I'm not. I'm no longer uh, making videos with that account anymore. But before I had that, I when I had that, I blitzed the Gian Oceans and was just wrecking. Grand Arena as a, as, as a result. So number 10, Geonosians definitely deserve to be up there on that list. All right, let's get to the next one. We've got number nine, the Night Sisters. Night Sisters are a must farm, my friends. Must farm for everybody. You need to have Night Sisters or they're gonna be great in Grand Arena. They're a good offensive team. They're a good defensive team. They're gonna be good just about anywhere you decide to put the Night Sisters. Um, they so what I really like about Night Sisters is it's one of those teams that you just cannot sleep on. You there's very few counters you can take against Night Sisters where you can just relax and not have to think through the tax strategy. You have to be white knuckle it and be very careful to make sure that you are getting the job done the way it needs to get done. And zombie, that mechanic with zombie reviving over and over again. It's just always keen on uh, and messing you up. Something else I like about Night nice Sisters is you got two leaders that work very well with the sisters. Asajj lead works very well on defense. And Mother Talzin lead also works um, to bring in those extra revives and those assists on basic. So both are very good leaderships. And a lot of people are going to find ways to use both at the same time. So or, or both uh, in different situations, I should say. Sometimes you use Mother Talzin lead. Sometimes you use uh, Asajj lead. Either way, they're going to always benefit your roster and make your roster better. I don't think this is one of those teams. I think a big reason why I put them on the list is you really can't function late game if you don't have a good night sisters team you have to have them and not to mention one thing i haven't even mentioned yet and i'm not showing this footage right now but uh with a solid relic daca they could take out a grievous team and that is invaluable my friends all right let's get to the next item on the list we have got the newt separatist team 
Send the Newt, ladies and gentlemen. Newt Gunray is so solid. The, re the rework that we got for Newt was just really satisfying for all you Separatist fans out there. Let's play this one. Uh, Newt, now, obviously, they're going to they're gonna do good against a car team, but where, where they're going to shine the most is on defense. And you can have confidence, my friends, when you put Newt on defense, especially when you get... Th this is an interesting Newt team with, uh, with Grievous um, in here. This is probably, you know... Late match, GAC, nothing, you're just throwing what you got left together to get an easy win. Um, however, when you put Newt with Django, and when you put Newt with, like, Watt or Droidica, there's a lot of different variants you can do there. But that core team of Newt um, and the Separatist is just going to do great work on defense. You can really get trapped by that. I really like putting Nest in a Newt team as well. This is a team that I put in Grand Arena and I frequently see those number one and number twos next to the team because my opponents have failed against it. Great defensive team. That's where I most recommend using Newt. All right, let's get to the next one. We have got Jedi Revan. Now, would you believe, my friends, that Jedi Revan is all the way down to number seven on our list and it's true he, he is at number seven now i think probably one of the reasons why i mean he's definitely on the list Se i mean out of how many squads are on the t in this uh list number seven still pretty good but something to keep in mind about jedi revan is his use has just kind of been pigeonholed into just countering grievous and a lot of people aren't using him on defense there's other teams he can beat um but he's just not quite as um, useful as he once was. Now, you may be able to make an argument. I posted a video recently where Jedi Revan is with Gas and Thrawn able to beat some uh, Galactic Legend Ray teams. I'm not going to really view that as how this uh, Jedi Revan squad is being ranked, however, because it does include Gas. And so it's definitely reliant on Gas and some other teams. But so I'm, I'm more, when I rank this and when I did come up with these rankings, it was heavily influenced by my opinion and the opinion of several experts that I consulted um, who are very long time uh, players, high, heavy whales, some free to plays, etc. in the game. And. To me, this is the core Jedi Revan team, and this is the only place I use it. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. But another part of why I'm breaking him lower on the list is just because I feel like the other teams above him are just more valuable in uh, today's day and age. So Jedi Revan down to number seven. Um... Maybe you guys disagree with me, but that's just where I feel like he needs to go at this point. All right, so let's see who's above Jedi Revan. First and foremost, we got Padme. Now, I don't think you guys are going to dispute me that Padme is going to be ranking above Jedi Revan. I don't think anyone's going to come at me on that, especially when you get a solid Relic Padme team. This team can take out almost everyone in the game. Um, I... I say almost now because of Galactic Legends, Rey, and Kylo. I don't think I've seen a Padme team successfully take out either yet. But uh, please prove me wrong. I would love to see that she's taking both of them out. Um, Anakin at Relic 7 is just an absolute man bear pig. He's just crazy. <laughs> somebody name that reference, man bear pig. So, somebody in the comments tell me where that's from. Um, I don't know why I said that. But anyway, Padme... Has very solid health and protection. Um, you know, the, the, the cleanse that she's got, the damage they're able to do with guard. She can take a character like Barris and make her hit like a truck. Um, very strong utility in the game. Great defensive team. And it's it's just one of those teams. End game. You have to have her. And I'm going to say comfortably better than Jedi Revan to continue to defend my placement of Jedi Revan on this list. All right. Who's above Padme? Coming in at the number five spot, we have got the one and only Grievous and Watt combo. Now, I'm clarifying Grievous with Watt. Uh, probably because I feel like Grievous without Watt, I might rank Padme above Grievous without Watt. But I'm going to include Watt in my consideration here because I think this is what people are settling on as the team that they're using the most in uh, Territory Wars and Grand Arena to get solid defensive holds. And so here you see on offense going against Gas. And it can even beat Gas teams if you've got it modded correctly. This to me is an automatic solid placement on, on Grand Arena. It will always benefit you to place this team on defense in my humble opinion and the reason why is even if the even if it is beaten one shot nobody is getting through this team without taking in a very solid team 
and you've got a high likelihood that the Jedi Rev encounters that we've brought in are going to fail against it. Wat Tambor makes the Jedi Rev encounter have a very hard time against uh, these Grievous teams. I have failed a lot of matches, even with my Relic Jolie. It used to be that Relic Jolie was kind of like the savior of uh, Jedi Revan teams. No longer the savior ability, but Jolie himself, uh, keeping people alive. And you, you could still get wins. You can. It mod the team right. You'll still get wins with Jedi Revan against uh, Grievous and Watt. But a lot of people won't. And so you've got a higher percentage uh, win rate with the Watt combo in there with Grievous. Very solid defensive placement in Grand Arena. And in my humble opinion, definitely deserving of the number five spot. Um, would have been higher before, but now we got some more teams to contemplate. All right, here we go. Speaking of, let's get to number three or four on the list, Darth Revan. Yes, Darth Revan all the way down to number four. That is going to include Malik in with Darth Revan. Um, what can I say about Darth Revan? Not really a whole lot to say. He's great. He counters a lot. He's going to be able to beat gas teams. A lot of times you're going to need to bring Han in um, if you want to get a stun over on Rex or if you've got OP mods, maybe you can make it work. Uh, but really not much else to say about Darth Revan. We're going to put gas 5 first here. Um, they're, they're hitting number three. This should not come as a surprise to many. Obviously, we've got two new teams in the game, both meta at this point. Gas is going to be comfortably in the top spot for me, and the reason why I am putting him here is because he seems to be consistent in most of the counters that people are running to take care of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and Rage, uh, I almost said Rage Jedi Training, uh, Galactic Legend Ray. and there's not a whole lot of other options right now. I've, I have seen that there is options with Darth Revan that will work, uh, but Gas... Very, very much so at the top there. And your definite best second choice for squad arena um, uh, if you're not going to be able to get the Galactic Legends. And so I think with the introduction of Galactic Legends, General Skywalker, his importance increased dramatically with the introduction of those characters. All right. So you guys can probably guess that number one and number two are Galactic Legends, but in which order... I'm also not convinced that this is going to be a surprise which order we have selected. Number two is Legend Kylo. Look, Galactic Legend Kylo is still super OP. And he can beat Galactic Legend Ray. He's going to be very difficult to beat himself. There's just a slight edge from Galactic Legend Ray on this list that I think is deserving of the number one spot, especially when you consider her ultimate ability. Ability. There are so few counters we have identified for Galactic Legend Ray. And look at this. Look at all of that damage output. Kylo's gonna be able to do his own. But even with, even with the ultimate ability, Kylo, his usefulness, I think, definitely catapulted with the ultimate ability. Ray, I... She's, she's OP without the ultimate ability. And you can see here, we're getting to a duel. I, I wish that what they do in the game in this footage, I wish they just make it the duel mechanic. Don't you guys think? That's We want more duels, don't we? <laughs> All right, rounding out the list. You guys know what number one is. It is Galactic Legend Ray. So there you go. You can see the full list right now. Galactic Legend Ray. I'm going to go out on a limb here. This isn't much of a limb. But I'm just going to say right now, Galactic Legend Ray is comfortably... The most OP character we have ever seen in this game. Um, very, very challenging to counter her. And so few people have it. I think there's there's two reasons why it's very hard to counter Ray. Number one is because of how um, OP she is in general. Like, just, just in general, she's extremely OP. But number two, we don't have a lot of... Op like, not a lot of people are able to attack her right now because so few people have her so the more she gets out into the wild and the more she's out into the wild maxed out because some people are fighting her with only two zetas only three zetas which sounds crazy to say only three but she's got six zetas she's got an ultimate ability and so once more people are experiencing galactic legend ray at her full capacity we'll probably see more counter surface but for now it's just it just doesn't seem like there's very many options in the present environment all right my friends that rounds out our list check out the list one more time the top 10 squads in all of star wars galaxy of heroes fill up the comments below 
Where did I go wrong on this list? What characters would you add? How would you shake it up? I'd love to hear it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already, my friends. Go check that out. We got a goal to hit 50,000 subs this year, and we're pacing. Do it. Be a part of it and like the video if you did enjoy it. I would very much appreciate it. All right. Thanks again, Cubs fam. Thanks for coming to the video. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.